Hey you, yeah you who clicked on this video, thanks for giving our channel a shot. And if you will, please do us the honor of watching the video all the way through. Appreciate it. Now onto the video. So every time I try to love HBO's The Last of Us, they just do something new and more stupid that just takes me completely out of the experience. So we're talking about episode six now entitled Ken. Let's get into it. So episode six kind of just reinforces a theme in this series and that theme is where are all these god dang obese people coming from bro like this is the zombie apocalypse for lack of a better term this is the end of the world infrastructure is gone supermarkets gone the readily available food gone and yet we keep seeing obese after obese after obese i'm talking land well after land well and if you're a big person i don't mean no harm i really don't but tell me you could be as big as you are today after the world collapses. Because, oh my God. So this episode opens up with Joel and Ellie basically uh, breaking into this older uh, Native American couple's house. And it's just, it's crazy. Because you got the Native American lady uh, talking to her husband as he's trying to figure out why these uh, people have basically been able to invade his home without his wife being able to do anything and the reason she can't do anything is because she's slow she is fat she ain't she he's asking her how did how did you didn't get to the gun why didn't you get to the gun bro how's she gonna get to the gun bro she can't barely get to the plate come on come on this is craziness and it's just it's insane like I, i'm really struggling to figure out why there are so many fat people 20 years after the world has collapsed but whatever anyway so Basically, these people tell Joel and Ellie that that everything is basically from there to where uh, Tommy is, is gone to shit. And there's no real point because they're going to die. They even call something the river of death. So, uh, you know, this scares Joel for whatever reason. And now he's so spooked that when he gets out of there, he has a panic attack. And it's just, it's just crazy. It's more just of a character assassination of the character that we love from the games, Joel Miller. So, you know, they they basically get on the road and they, you know, it's a nice little montage of them hiking through things and, and whatever, whatever. And throughout this, uh, this trek, they stumble upon uh, some people on horseback that basically threaten to kill them if um, the dog smells the infection on them. And this is a really tense moment, or at least it's supposed to be. Because we don't know if the dog is going to be able to smell any infection on Ellie being that even though she is immune, she technically carries the virus, which we were able to see uh, in, I think, episode two uh, with Tess, Joel and Ellie uh, and the Fedra guard. So with that being said, the dog does not detect anything on them and everything is all good. Then, you know, Joel name drops Tommy, which he probably should have done earlier. I mean, just I'm just saying like. You know, you, you throw the Hail Mary where you got to throw it. But I'm pretty sure in throwing out your brother's name, if he's still alive, we'll get a better result. But hey, they rolled the dice. It worked out in their favor. Yeah, points to Gryffindor. So um, everything that happens uh, after this is basically just stupid. Uh, so they're escorted back. Um, and they have a really heartfelt reunion between Joel and Tommy. Uh, and which Rutina Wesley's character, who uh, will be revealed as Tommy's wife, who's also pregnant and chasing people down on horseback. And yeah, you get where this is going. Stupidville. Um, so they're basically having a conversation about things. Joel is lying to his brother, lying to everybody else about the situation because he really doesn't know who he can trust. Now, I'm going to go into my problems with this episode already. So number one, they screwed up The Last of Us 2 uh, bar none because they've already established this stupid little town that shouldn't have even been made yet until after Joel and Ellie's initial adventure. Anyway, then we see what looks to be uh, Dina or a child version of Dina real quick. Like it's, it's fast, like blinking, you'll miss it. Um, so that's also some like I hate when shows do this, like everybody knew everybody from way back when type shit. Oh, man, it's annoying. So that happens. Then we get into uh, Tommy's relationship. Uh, with Rutina Wesley's character. I didn't really bother to remember her name because, I mean, I don't care. Uh, we find out that she's pregnant and Tommy's going to be a father. 
Uh, we find out all of Joel's insecurities yeah, because, you know, they've given him so many different maladies from bad knees to bad ears to bad everything. So, I mean, Joel is basically telling Tommy that he's barely holding it together. Now, here's where the stupid sandwich really comes into play. So, he finally breaks down and tells Tommy what's really good with, uh, with Ellie and the fact that she's immune and that they're going to take her to the Fireflies for a cure. Now, in this situation, which differs from the game greatly, they have the resources and the manpower to send a whole freaking army with Joel. He doesn't have to go alone, especially knowing what he, uh, what's going on. Tommy could have sent himself. He could have sent a contingent of men, which what you should have done because you're about to bring a child into the zombie apocalypse and you have the child that can cure everything. But no, let's send Joel on his own. So Joel, after trying to basically break Ellie's heart by telling her that he's that she's going to stay with Tommy and it's, she has a better chance of getting where she needs to go with Tommy than she does with him. They have a whole fight. Joel plans on stealing a horse. It's stupid. None of this really means anything. Just chewing up time. Rutina Wesley's character has heartfelt moments with uh, Ellie in which she's basically trying to tell her that there's a better way. There's education. There's all these things. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, they screw up the story so royally. And it's just, it, it defies logic. Like, everything about this episode completely defies logic uh as to like why didn't we send anybody with joel why uh is tommy so reluctant to go with joel even though he knows what's at stake uh how is this town a thing why did we have to mention communism at any point in time how does that make any logical sense like everything that's going on in this episode just you can tell like somebody like neil Druckmann needs that what black people would call that come on now dog if you've ever seen cedric the entertainer you know what i'm talking about now come on now dog is basically your friend that's it like when you say some stupid shit or when you're floating dumbass ideas that you want to act on like this person is the person that puts their hand on your shoulder and says come on now dog we, we can't do this and that's what neil Druckmann needs he had that his name was bruce straley and he's been completely written off uh, as far as this project is concerned. So you see my frustration when it comes to these episodes getting like just having these really odd leaps in logic that really just don't add anything substantive to the story and really hurts when you're trying to follow along. Even if I didn't know anything about The Last of Us, even if I didn't know these characters, just the stupid things that keep on happening in this world that they continue to try to justify just they they just don't work so we see that after their departure from this town that uh joel and ellie then uh happen upon a bunch of bandits joel is able to kill one but not without being stabbed and he is injured and ellie is distraught and does not know what to do so i know where this episode is leading anybody that's played the game knows where this episode is leading and what's going to happen uh but unfortunately you're not going to see that for two episodes the next episode is basically uh, the Left Behind DLC. Uh, so if you've played that, you know what's coming. Uh, so we'll talk about that after it airs. I'm pretty sure it'll be, uh, you know, a bunch of like really big female empowerment woke nonsense. But hey, I've been surprised before. Probably not going to be this time, but hey, I'm open to it. So let me know what you guys thought about this episode, uh, whether or not you feel like there are way too many fat people uh, after the apocalypse. Uh, and if you think that, you know, this episode just kind of, it just doesn't work for you, or if you just really enjoyed it, Put a comment down in the comment section below. We'll see you on the next one. 8 Bit Heroes out. Peace. If you'd like to get a shout out on the channel, then hit that like button. Maybe share it with a couple of friends and do us the biggest honor of all and subscribe to the channel so you can join the 8 Bit Heroes family. And while you're at it, hit that bell icon so you can be notified when our new videos come out.